My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here once again on the Unorthoblox server, emanating from a mushroom base, and uh, I went on vacation. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we haven't been doing many episodes over here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, we went on vacation, and it really gave me an opportunity to think, to think about uh, what we're doing here and um, what really makes sense as far as general layouts and buildings that we can uh, go ahead and put together. And um, yeah, I, I think I've come to a bit of a decision. The main thing that I have been struggling with is this storage warehouse. So we set this up to include a bunch of different items and generally speaking, it's it's worked pretty well. However, um, I don't know if this is, this is truly going to be effective for us because uh, for us to store and sort all of the different types of items that we have, um, I really feel like in, in most cases, it's going to be super wasteful, you know, specifically for things like uh, like iron supplies or uh, wood, uh, different types of glass. Um, you know, you've got your fence posts and and uh, like workstations and all that stuff. So, yeah, so it, it made me think maybe we're doing this all wrong. Maybe storage warehouse should just be for, you know, stuff that you would put in an attic, right? <laughs> like things that may be of use, but really they're just bulky and they take up space. So you just put them somewhere until you really need them. But there's other things that we could make use of and having an organization for them uh, would uh, would be beneficial. Which then got me thinking about the commercial district. See, we've got some items that, you know, we're going to have a lot of, but are we going to have three double chests worth of items like gunpowder or bottles, sugar, paper? I don't think so. Shulkers, you know, we could sort shulkers in this thing, but does it make the most sense? Barrels, we might have a couple of stacks, but that's about it. But then we've got we've got this guy. We've got the commercial district that we really haven't done anything with. And so I'm thinking, well, wait, why why are we just making this uh, into an an area for villagers? for a, a visual pleasure, right? <laughs> Why not actually make this functional? Not just where, the, where we can trade with these villagers, but we can actually store stuff in these individual pods. Uh, so everything's organized and everything makes sense. And it fits, it fits the, like the general theme and lore that we've got over here. So I've started to organize. <laughs> so obviously we've got some blank ones still, but uh, we also have uh, some shops for, for different types of items. So, um, now bear with me, I've named some of the shops, <laughs> but it'll make sense. But just to give it a general, general, uh, flavor, I suppose. So we've got uh, crate and barrel, and this is going to be all of our storage items, as well as ladders and scaffolding, uh, our workstations. Um, I've got to figure out where I want to put these guys. But yeah, like anything that's like made out of wood or, you know, is a decoration piece can go into crate and barrel. Uh, over here, we've got a farmer's market. So all of our food and seeds and mushrooms, uh, fish, uh, raw, raw meat and whatnot can go over here. And if you've got a commercial strip, you have to have a radio shack. <laughs> I know they don't exist anymore. They did back in the day. Uh, so yeah, like all, all the redstone and rail stuff, plus plus firework rockets and uh, you know the supplies to make them. Up here, we have Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> so we've got beds. Uh, we've got uh, sugar, which could be like bath salts, right? We've got carpet, which could be like our uh, our floor mats. Uh, we've got bottles. I, I don't know. Like, like bottles seem to fit here. <laughs> uh, we've got an herbalist, so flowers, dyes, and uh, other other types of stuff. Uh, I've I've got mushrooms up here. We might move mushrooms up here, but yeah, just uh, just general like florist, herbalist type type stuff would go here. Uh, over in this room, we've got books. So, um, you know, theoretically, we'd have more than one barrel of, of books, but all the different book 
uh, selections we have, plus, you know, unmarked books and bookshelves. Uh, so yeah, this is this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we actually make the shopping district useful, not just have it as a yeah, we got to give the villagers a place to live and work, but actually like make everything work together and flow together and make sense logically. Uh, it'll give us more reason to come come out here. If you know we need rockets, we need to build rockets. We'd go to Radio Shack. We need rails. We go to Radio Shack. We need uh, some kind of food item. We go to the farmers market. You know, uh, and then it would have the villagers that seem mostly aligned to those things there. Um, it, it just it it builds life. It builds uh, overall. Um, cohesiveness that's that's what we should be working towards so what does this mean for the shulker box and loader and the storage room itself the warehouse well i feel like you know we keep it it uh I'm, there's design changes we want to make here but overall um yeah this this will work as a warehouse as a place that we pull put bulk items uh building blocks can all go here everything else everything else can go in the shops and i think it would it would it would make a lot of sense is this a one-stop shop for everything the warehouse no but it doesn't need to be in the meantime that does suggest though that we need to actually finish it so moving the shulker box unloader uh to somewhere not in the center of the room, but then also connecting all of the farms to it. So connecting uh, the cactus farm, uh, connecting the wool farm, and the iron and sugar cane and skeleton farms. They need to all be filtering over there, and I want to work on that today. So again, we took a vacation. We had a lot of time to think, and I think right now I'm just ready to get into it. Let's start building First, we 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 connect all of the farms together to the uh, to the warehouse, and then uh, we build up the warehouse, and then we wrap up the build of the commercial district. Can we do that all in this episode? We'll find out. Let's get in the build mode.
end of build mode, and we have ourselves a new warehouse. The iron farm is connected. Skeleton farm connected. Cactus farm, sugarcane farm, the works all connected and all feeding into this thing. And yeah, when I first started building this, it, it was quickly turning into a big white box. <laughs> So I decided to experiment a little bit with some stuff. So we've got uh, we've got like little uh, guardrail, like barrier type things, so you can't drive your truck into it. Those those types of uh, things, just to give it uh, a little bit of depth as well as some lighting. And uh, yeah, accidentally like made like three stacks of um, the diorite walls. So uh, also tried to like just bring. Uh, some more depth on this side. So I was thinking about like terracotta, uh, but yeah, it was just, it was just going to take a lot of terracotta and I already had the diorite wall. So we tried that instead and I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let me know what you think though. I, I'd like to hear what you have to say. We've got two other walls that we need to do something with. So I might do the same thing, uh, but um, yeah, I just kind of want to hear your feedback before I, I go ahead and make that call. But yeah, overall, um, I'm, I'm digging it. So right here, we've got a little side entrance that we got to finish up. But uh, yeah, that brings you right inside. And uh, yeah, we've got we've got ladders on the inside. That way we can easily go up and be able to uh, view the items as they go, but also get to the back backside. Uh, we've also got the same ladder type setups over here. Uh, again, just easier access to get to the backside if we want to um, add add or adjust any of the sorting. Uh, we still have a few open slots, but I ended up moving all of the iron skeleton and cactus farm stuff down here, um, removing that front piece. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, I think we need some stability over here just to kind of hold hold up this piping. But um, yeah, generally speaking, I'm 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 digging this. I'm digging this a lot. The other thing that we added was this guy right here. It is just a chest, uh, but we can like unload like items and then they'll end up shooting up and out. So yeah, we can just like unload our inventory when we're when we're done building and then things will just automatically get sorted. Uh, also took down the shulker box unloader and uh, how that's going to work is you, you place your shulkers in here and then all that stuff, it has been moved, moved down here. So um, it's out of the way right now. Shulkers are uh, leading into this chest. I would like to get them onto the surface, but maybe maybe it's not as necessary. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But yeah, items are basically gonna go go into this track, and that leads down the hall uh, to the same system that we're using for everything else. So like that same that same pipe going up. Uh, so yeah, uh, very 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 cool. I'm I'm definitely enjoying <laughs> enjoying the changes that uh, that that we have made here. So what this also does uh, with removing this this row is it does give us the opportunity to expand uh, a few a few more chests up on either side, uh, and then we can adjust this this piping as as we see fit. Uh, but uh, one thing you may notice is I did not bring the wool over, and yeah, I it just felt it just felt. Uh, excessive, I guess. I mean, we already have the storage system set up over there and it works and I can just go there for wool. Um, you know, lore wise, it would make sense. That's where the shepherds are. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to keep wool there for now. All right. So another thing that we added here was uh, a bit of a hole. This is potentially like, like another um, entrance point. If we, if we wanted to fly in, we could easily just fly right, right in. Um, I guess I guess I should admit it started because we ran out of bone blocks, but uh, I think I think it'd be nice. Now, if we decide we want to change that, we could always go with the uh, glass atriums uh, type look that uh, that we have over here and place the same thing here um, on the roof. You know, it's obviously a lot. It's very plain and we probably don't need to make any adjustments to it, but I might want to add like some decoration like air conditioning units or I don't know, something, something over here, I think would be pretty cool. And while I'm happy with how this turned out, I think it is time to take a bit of a break. Um, I know we also wanted to work on the commercial district, the shopping district here, but well, that's going to have to wait because you probably saw it in the replay. We've got uh, a little bit of an item here that I'm not sure what it is. 
<laughs> it's also blocking our beacon. We've got a uh, a shulker attached to a balloon. It seems so. Um, yeah, I I heard I heard Gray was was giving treats or maybe tricks for Halloween. And I know I know it's late. I know it's late, but with the vacation and everything else, is just this is when we got it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open and uh, find out what's inside. Oh, leather. Okay. Soul Speed 3. Ancient Debris. Oh, my God. NN Crystals. Wow. And a map. What's this map? <laughs> uh, so this is in reference to... <laughs> uh, there was a prank pulled on Gray. Uh... By Lady Bex and and Toby Sun 3D, uh, where they <laughs> they put a Hell Kitty, uh, Hello Kitty, but an evil one uh, next to his his uh, airship uh, in Spawn, <laughs> and I guess he is sharing he is sharing that with everyone else. <laughs> All right, so we've got our warehouse done. Well, it's mostly, mostly done. We've got our shopping district coming together and things are be starting to be organized. Uh, the leather will definitely come in handy because we need to make some item frames for the shops. And yeah, this place is really starting to, to take shape. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful to see. But that's where we'll end. My name's The Mighty Bear. It's been a pleasure. And we will play Minecraft together again very soon. Later.